Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Blake. I'm a senior here at the University of Illinois, pursuing a dual degree in chemistry and political science. Today on 940 feet, I'm interviewing Professor Rima of Atmospheric Sciences. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, and what is your area of expertise? Sure, it's my great pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, my name is Nicole Rima. I'm a professor of atmospheric scientist just down the road where we are walking right now. And my area of expertise is atmospheric chemistry. And I'm particularly interested in processes that involve aerosol particles, which are tiny little particles that are floating around in the air, um, where they're coming from, how they are transformed in the atmosphere, how they are released, and what their impacts are on human health and on climate. Yeah, so what is your favorite course to teach and why? Uh, I actually have a sequence of three courses that I really like teaching. They're called Physical Meteorology and they uh, entail thermodynamics of the atmosphere, cloud physics, and radiation. And I like to switch it up so I don't get bored. Yeah. So not just one course, but the three of them is really great. Yeah, that's awesome. So in your opinion, what are some exciting developments happening in atmospheric sciences right now? Yeah, it's a very exciting time to be in this field. Um, the computational power has tremendously increased, so we are able to do simulations that we have never been able to do before. Um, the instrument development also has um, accomplished a lot of new instrumentation where we are able to probe the atmosphere in great detail. And then there's a revolution undergoing at the moment uh, to do with artificial intelligence and machine learning and how we can use this to uh, improve our prediction uh, in this field. Yeah. So what's a project you're currently working on that you're really excited about? Yeah, I'm really excited about a paper that we just published on um, how clouds in the Arctic manage to uh, maintain themselves for long stretches of time, like many, many hours. And the role that aerosol particles play um, in forming ice crystals on okay. the super cool cloud, cloud droplets. Yeah. So what do you find most fascinating about atmospheric sciences as a field of study? Yeah, it's basically how we can use our understanding of physics and chemistry uh, to explain what's going on around us in everyday life, right? So we are exposed to weather and, yeah. and climate change and um, how can we make sense of this and how can we use our tools and skills to uh, actually make predictions about the future. Yeah, that's awesome. So what do you find most rewarding about being a faculty member here, a professor here? Uh, it's the working with the students, of course, um, which is a lot of fun. And also that I'm able to choose the problems that I'm, I, I can work on and um, have a lot of really fun and um, yeah, talented colleagues to yeah. share my work with. Yeah, so can you share any of your most memorable experiences you've had with students, either in the classroom or through your own research? Mm -hmm. So uh, one thing that is always uh, really inspirational to watch is when students finally get it. So when they have been grappling with a um, difficult concept and suddenly there is this switch and this aha effect uh, when they are able to understand um, what's going on. Yeah, and sure. With research, um, I really enjoy watching my students when, when they present at conferences and you really have the feeling they now own yeah. their project. It's not me telling them what they have to say, but they really um, understand what they're doing and they're sharing their research with the community. Yeah, of course. So we're gonna switch over to some rapid fire questions here. So what's one piece of advice you'd give to your 18 year old self? Oh yeah, that's a good one. So I go with the advice uh, that I actually learned from my former department here, Bob Rauber. So he always says, you need three things. What, the first one is a good bed because we um, spend a lot of time sleeping. Uh, the second is find a job that you really enjoy. And the third is find a supportive spouse. Yeah, those are some great tips. So if you could describe you by three words, which three words would you use? Uh, innovators, interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary, and align on pride. Oh, well, that's horse. I have to keep you honest there. Uh, but what's the best kept secret on campus? Um, one of the well-kept secret, let's put it, secrets, let's put it yeah. like this, is um, there's a place to eat called the Red Herring, and people know about it, but I think not everyone knows about yeah. it. And it's a really good place I, that I really enjoy. Yeah. 
So who is another uh, U of I faculty member whose work has captivated you? Wow, there are so many faculty members who are doing really cool stuff here, so it's hard to settle on one. But uh, I, I'm really fascinated by Kathy Murphy's work. Um, she is the head of chemistry, and her work is about nanoparticles, how to fabricate them, and how to functionalize them. Yeah. Okay, so what is your favorite season on campus and why? It's actually this season when it's not hot anymore, when it's yeah. humid anymore, when the leaves are pretty, so I love fall. Yeah, this is my favorite season too. So I need your opinion now on our squirrels we have here on campus. Are okay. they overrated or underrated? Underrated. Yeah, I think they're really cute. They're doing a lot right now. <laughs> um, okay, and here's our last question for you. Orange or blue? Blue. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching.